Now developing news on another COVID-19 booster shot. An FDA advisory committee has voted to authorize a booster shot for people 18 and older with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. This shot can be given at least two months after the initial shot. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer is live in studio with us to discuss the details. Brittany? Well, Kim Shannon, this is the second day in a row the FDA advisory panel endorsed a COVID booster. Today, the panel endorsed the second J&J dose 19 to 0. Thousands of Rhode Islanders could soon be eligible for a Johnson & Johnson booster, and the Department of Health says the state is ready. According to spokesperson Joseph Wendelkin, Rhode Island has close to 7,000 J&J doses on hand and the infrastructure in place to administer them. This afternoon, an FDA advisory panel unanimously voted to endorse the extra shot for everyone 18 and older who already have the initial J&J shot. We want to provide optimal protection against COVID. And we know that a booster dose will do that. The extra dose would be given at least two months after the first J&J shot. During the meeting, J&J presented data showing stable protection over time from the single dose, but say a booster will increase protection. Last month, a J&J study revealed a booster brought protection to 100% in preventing severe cases of the virus. The group of experts also hearing data on a National Institutes of Health study, which found mixing vaccines from different manufacturers for a booster shot is safe. And the FDA now needs to issue a formal recommendation for both the Moderna and J&J &J boosters. Then the CDC would meet to discuss guidance. Live in studio, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. Right, U.S. health officials are telling states they can start ordering Pfizer vaccine doses for kids under 12 next week before the shots are authorized. Also tonight, the CDC has released updated guidance for the holidays. With vaccines widely available, the CDC isn't providing specific holiday advice. Instead, their main message is get vaccinated before any holiday gatherings. They also say people planning big gatherings may want to consider precautions like getting tested or avoiding crowded indoor places before making the trip. Meantime, an FDA advisory panel has issued its recommendation for boosters of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer continues our coverage. Brittany. Well, Shannon, the FDA panel voted 19 to 0 in favor of backing a second booster dose for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The backed guidelines apply to virtually everyone who received the single shot. For the second day in a row, an FDA advisory panel endorses a COVID-19 vaccine booster, this time for a second dose of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The panel recommending the extra shot for everyone 18 and older who already have the initial J&J &J shot. We want to provide optimal protection against COVID, and we know that a booster dose will do that. Thousands of Rhode Islanders would be eligible for the J&J &J booster, and the Department of Health says the state is ready. According to spokesperson Joseph Wondelkin, Rhode Island has close to 7,000 J&J &J doses on hand and the infrastructure in place to administer them. The extra dose would be given at least two months after the first J&J &J shot. During the meeting, J&J &J presented data showing stable protection over time from the single dose, but say a booster will increase protection. Last month, a J&J &J study revealed a booster brought protection to 100% in preventing severe cases of the virus. The group of experts also hearing data on a National Institutes of Health study, which found mixing vaccines from different manufacturers for a booster shot is safe. And the FDA now needs to issue a formal recommendation for both the Moderna and J&J &J boosters. Then the CDC would meet to discuss guidance. Live in studio, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.